Hey guys, uh, I am uh, David Jones. Uh, you can call me Keaton. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to go through the GPG suite uh, encryption software for the uh, Mac OS operating system. Uh, this here is my current version. Uh, that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, some things are a little bit different if you use older versions. Um, as far as a lot of stuff automatically sets itself up, whereas with this version of the Mac OS, um, you will have to manually go in and set a couple things up, which I'll walk through with you. I'm going to download it. Uh, now, while that downloads, I'm going to tell you a little, give you a little basic uh, overview of what encryption is. Um, so it kind of gives you, so you take two parties and Basically, what's going to happen is it's going to establish this confidential communication between these two parties. Um, get this little visual here. Da, da, da. Here it is. So what's going to happen is you're going to take this plain text. Uh, maybe it's a message or something that you want to type out. It's just text in general. Um, and you're going to encrypt it using this encryption key, which I'll talk about here once we uh, finish setting everything up. Um, once you encrypt this message or this text, it's going to turn into some cipher text, which it's basically going to be jumbled um, text that's just not going to make any sense. Um, and you'll send that cipher text. And once you send that cipher text, the person who receives it, or maybe there's someone who's eavesdropping or hacking, if you will, and inc like receives this message or steals this message, they're not going to know what it make like know what it means because it's just going to be the cipher text here. It's not going to make any sense. It's going to be like a coded message, and until you use a description key or a password, if you will, uh, to kind of generalize it, you're going to use this decryption key um, to decrypt it back into some plain text. So you encrypt it into cipher text, decrypt it back into plain text, and it makes it very difficult for somebody who's eavesdropping, um, which. In our days, eavesdropping is its kind of a weird term, but you eavesdrop or you hack and you receive these messages um, or you receive a message that isn't meant for you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, looks like the download's done, we're going to go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> so I'm going to run the installation software here. I'm going to install it. Uh, once it's downloaded, the installation process doesn't take long at all. Continue, continue. We're going to agree to our terms here. Uh, it takes up 39.5 megabits on your uh, computer, so um, you do have to have a little bit of space, not a lot. Um, nowadays, storage usually isn't a problem for these newer newer systems. You know, put in your password if it asks for one or if you have one. You're going to go ahead and install it. All right, so we're done here. Uh, they have a first steps tutorial. Um, I'm going to try to show you more rather than just reading through some text. Move that to the trash. So the suite really does everything they possibly can to make sure that you understand what's happening with this encryption process. It's They do a great job of it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to open it. It usually opens on its own, but since it's not, we're going to go ahead. Okay. Upload. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. So I have used this before. Um, so I have my, I have a key in here already. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Show you how to. Uh, yes, I want to delete it. You're gonna delete both. Delete. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new key. So, so what's gonna happen is here is we're gonna generate a new key pair. So what else when you generate a key pair? You're gonna generate a private key and a public key. Um, this private key you're gonna keep for yourself. No one will know this key, this password. You don't share it with anybody. It is yours. Um, however, with the public key, it's another thing. You can post it online. You can send it to all your friends. You can do whatever the heck you want with this public key, because it's gonna be used for the encryption process. But the private key is what's used for the uh, decryption process, which is vital for you know not wanting anybody to see it. Uh, so you're going to type in the email that you want to use. Um, that's basically the holder. That's the holder email, I guess, if you will, of the private key. I'm going to just go ahead and do this. 
Now you can generate a lot longer password. Um, it's going to say, oh, that's a weak password. We're just going to go ahead and use it since it's just for demonstration. It's going to be created. We're going to give it a second. Uh, it's going to give you the option of uploading this to a public server or a public, you know, essentially a public server. Um, if you want to, you can. Um, however, maybe that, that might be for more advanced uh, people in the encryption process. So we're just going to go ahead and no thanks it. All right, so we've got this in here. Um, so what's going to happen now is we're going to go into our email. If I can find it. There we are. Go down here. Now, so what we're going to do to start is we're going to go ahead and... So now that you're in here, you're going to notice this new thing over here. So because it's when you're first starting it up um since i've used this before my preferences are changed when you first start it up if you don't see these guys over here what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to mail you're going to go down here to preferences you're going to go all you're going to in the general tab you're going to go down here to managing your plugins and this will be unchecked uh i think for older versions it is usually unchecked but uh, for my current version of uh, I believe it's Mojave, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to check it. Uh, once you check it, you hit apply, restart the mail, and you'll be good to go. And these guys will be here. So now, if I switch it over to uh, this other email here, it actually disappears because I don't have a. If you go back over here, I don't have a private key for that email. I only have it for this current email here, so that it's not gonna work. Um, for this email. So if I go here, so we've got this email here. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go and I'm going to email the public key. That's me also, I got it. So this is going to be, uh, this is going to be public key. I'm going to go ahead and email the public key to my other email. So I'm going to go here. So I'm going to go send public key via email. So, uh, Thinking about it. Do I save this? Set that out. Send it via email. So it doesn't want to open it. Da, da, da. Right, well, here's my public key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it real quickly. I'm going to export it to my desktop. I'm not going to include the secret key, so we're going to save that. Keys exported. All right, we're going to go back over here to the mail. I'm going to do this again. So we're going to go over here. So here's our encryption here. I'm going to send it to this other email. Oops, it just appeared it changed right there. Just the right email address. All right, and I'm actually going to attach. Go over here to my desktop. I'm going to attach my public key. Here we are. Let me go ahead and send that. I'm going to send it anyway. No worries. Now it's going to ask for that password that we created, just to make sure that you want to send that. Da, da, da. That's your secret key password. I'm going to set that. It's going to send. I'm going to minimize that out. I'm going to go here. There it is. Let's see all my uh, all my pizza emails there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. So here's the public key. Uh, what it's already downloaded on my computer, but it just like this is the public key here. It's jumbled. Like you can see how difficult it would be for somebody to decrypt that essentially okay so what's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna have that you would since it's already on my computer I don't have to download it it's just showing you once you send it to somebody they can download it um, when you download this uh, what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to download a their own version of a PGP so they'll use if they have a Mac they can use sweet uh, for Windows I believe it's a uh, PGP for win uh, that it's like Cleopatra and stuff. Um, so they're they're going to use that, and then they can use what they'll do. So they're going to go, oh no, go ahead and go back into here. And once they download that key, what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and go over here, and they're going to hit import. 
I'm going to click on that public key that they just downloaded. I'm going to hit open. It's going to import. Obviously, it wasn't imported because we already have it. They're going to import that key, and you're going to be good to go, basically. So what's going to happen now? I'm going to go ahead and go to compose. I'm going to send this to the email that has the private key. Test. Here we go. Hi, this is a test. So what they would do is if they had that encryption, they'd be able to go here, go down to services, and you're going to go ahead and encrypt the selection. So whatever you selected, you're going to go ahead and encrypt, and you're going to select the key. You have to make sure that the email here matches up with the one that you're going to be sending it to. So that guy, select it, go ahead and encrypt it, and it's going to be this, this mess, absolute mess. So there's just this jumbled mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and send that. Message sent. And we're going to go back over here to our mail. Should get the email from it here. There you are. Now, in order to view this message, if I hit cancel, it's encrypted. I can't see anything. Like this is just it's a mess. You aborted the description of this message, so you hit cancel. So it's not gonna if if you hit cancel, you're not gonna be able you hit, or if you type in your password, it's just gonna pop it up right here. So I think if I Yep, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and enter our password here. And bada bing bada boom. Get hi, this is a test. So instead of all that message, so you can see it here, that it's still this message, but if you type in the password, it's going to change back to this. So that's the basis of it. Um, these keys, um, they're essentially passwords. But if you look at the, I guess, the coding of the key, it's this absolute mess. Uh, dozens of lines of just numbers, letters, symbols that help and keep these messages encrypted. It's a, uh, it's a confidential form of communication. It really is. It really is amazing. Uh, makes it very. They make it really easy to use. Um, da, da, da. Now, sometimes what's going to happen is uh, when you first download it, um, you actually won't have to type in your password all the time. If you go up here and you go to um, your system preferences, I actually turn it off. You're going to go down here to your uh, GPG suite, and you're going to store it in the Mac OS keychain. Now, if you store this in the Mac OS keychain, you won't have to enter your password. And remember, you won't have to enter your password once you uh, once it's stored in your keychain. It'll automatically decrypt any messages you receive, so you're not constantly having to type in this password for the keys. Um, which I mean, they really do make this really really easy for anybody. Um, it works. It works the best here in uh, the uh, mail app for the Mac OS. Um, however, if you do end up wanting to use maybe Google Chrome or something to encrypt it, like I said, you go in, you have to make sure that it's the right one. You can type out a mess, highlight it, go down here to services, and you can encrypt it. Manually select the key, select everything that you need to select. Uh, so yeah, so that's the basis of it. Uh, went kind of fast there, but it, you can play around with it. Hit that's the that's the general that's the general way that the encryption process works with JPG Suite. Um, they have some more advanced um, they have some more advanced stuff on here. Um, you can add several emails. You can send your public key out to the public. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Leave, a, leave your comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe.